Hi, I'm Dave Brown and I'm back to talk about General Darmay, the new Napoleonic War Game Rules from Ricefield's Press. Now we've arrived at the command and initiative phase, potentially the most important phase in the game. This is split into three sections, ADC availability and taskings, brigade command roles and finally the initiative. How does the ADC system work? Well, command is achieved via ADCs that are used by the player to deliver or attempt to deliver orders and taskings. In General Darme, there are 12 taskings that ADCs can be assigned to. All of these are about encouraging your men to perform to their best ability. Examples include a brigade command reroll, increasing movement, or increasing your artillery's fire rate. However, the player must first ascertain how many ADCs he has available each turn. This is based on a simple calculation. Each brigade will potentially grant the CNC one ADC. So our French division of five brigades could have up to five available ADCs. However, one cannot guarantee that they will all be available each turn. So the players simply roll the equivalent number of D6s as brigades and an ADC will be available on each score of 3 to 6 and unavailable on a score of 1 or 2. So with our roll here, we gain 3 ADCs. The two twos are means an ADC is unavailable, but the 4, the 5 and the 6 means that an ADC is immediately available for this turn, so we'll have 3 ADCs. So with our three available ADCs, we'll use two for an artillery assault fire as we're looking to attack at this key point, and one as a brigade attachment, as we want to be as sure as possible that this brigade will advance. This means that they can re-roll if they fail to activate. In fact, let's have a look at how that works now. Once a player has tasked his ADCs, we come to the brigade command rolls. This represents friction in the command process. Will your brigadiers faithfully obey your orders or will they be reluctant or hesitant as it's called in the rules? A brigade's command status is ascertained by simply rolling a d6 for each brigade. A brigade is considered active or obeying orders on a score of 3 to 6 or hesitant on a score of 1 or 2. Hesitant means the brigade will suffer a number of restrictions for this turn the most significant of which is that it cannot advance towards the enemy. Those brigades that obey orders will receive the benefit of any ADC taskings, but hesitant brigades do not. So let's see how our brigades fare. We'll see here in our first brigade, it has an artillery battery attached to the infantry brigade, and also the second infantry brigade also has an artillery battery attached. Our third infantry brigade has no artillery attached to it, and the cavalry has no artillery attached. The three ADCs were posted two to the artillery battery with an assault fire tasking, and one to the lead infantry brigade with a brigade attachment, which will give us a re-roll should our initial roll be hesitant. Now let's roll for our infantry brigades. So we have the first one with its brigade command roll. We've rolled a 3, which means the brigade is obeying orders and can do as the player wishes. Now we move to our second brigade, remembering he's got an ADC attached on brigade attachment. Right, we've rolled a 1. A 1 would normally be hesitant, which means the brigade wouldn't be able to advance. However, because we have an ADC attached, this gives us a command reroll. So we'll reroll the dice, and this time we get a 3. He's done his job and the brigade is now active and obeying orders so it can advance as we wish. Then we come to the third brigade, we roll again and we've got a four so this brigade is also obeying orders. Finally we'll do the cavalry, the French cavalry brigade first, gets a six also obeying orders and then finally the Spanish cavalry to the rear and they get a three. So all in all a very successful set of brigade command roles with all brigades being active. Finally we come to the initiative. Both players roll 2d6 and the highest score seizes the initiative for the turn. However, 
This is modified by minus one for each hesitant or faltering brigade in your command. This means the better commanded the army, the more likely one is to win the initiative. So let's see who wins this roll. I'll roll for the French and my assistant Clark will roll for the British. I've rolled 11. Clark has rolled 10. However, he has two hesitant brigades, which means that he applies a minus two to his modified score, which will be eight. So therefore, I've won the initiative. Well, that's all for this show. I hope that gave you an insight into part of the game that's meant to be both challenging and fun, allowing you to try to influence the battle through your ADCs. Next time we'll be talking about charges, so please join me then. Mm -hmm.